if we focus on waiting for them to dissolve, that's energizing them. Mm -hmm. Like, is the pink elephant still there? Pink elephant still there. You keep seeing the pink elephant. So relaxing, like we're doing with the shamatha breathing, and relaxing and letting the mind become calm, and we're in a calm state, that's where the natural self-liberation of thoughts occurs, is when we're not in a condition where we're grasping or we're rejecting anything, the thoughts. And then it becomes obvious everything self-liberates of itself. There's nothing we have to do about it. But that's a stage where we're no longer having to reflect back on the awareness. Lanchampa, one of the most famous scholars, teachers, and yogis of Dzogchen, taught and teaches exactly that method of taking whatever the content is and bringing your attention from the content to your awareness, the awareness that's aware of the content that causes the content to dissolve. And when the content dissolves, you actually get an increase in clarity because that energy now is, be is converted into presence. So presence of awareness, presence, the energy, the secondary energy that arises, can either arise into stories, and when the stories are looked at as being empty, they self-release, what happens to that energy? They're, they are real energy. People can't say, well, thoughts don't exist and dreams don't exist. No, there, there's energy there. And when that energy releases, it converts, transforms back into its original condition, which is presence. A presence, a surge of clarity. So through this practice, we actually become more and more aware, more clear, because the energy of the mind, which is caught up in, in being mental images, is released. It's actual energy. And it's released and transforms back into presence. So a, a practitioner who's successful at this is remaining in a condition of presence of awareness, not presence of mind. A person who's walking around in a daydream is in presence of mind. A Buddha is in presence of awareness. The only difference between you and a Buddha, there's no other difference, the Buddha doesn't have any of the mental content. It's empty, and it's realized to be empty, and that's why the content no longer forms anything. The insight has occurred of emptiness, so that when things arise, the mind isn't tricked into thinking these thoughts are s meaningful, important, because there's an overriding insight that applies to all of the contents. They're all empty. 